Welcome back to another episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. Today I got a special guest. We got Brandon with us. I know a couple videos ago we had my girlfriend. Now we got Brandon. So how this goes is you guys DM me a picture of your sled and what's done to it. And I go ahead and throw it in the video and rate it. If you guys want your sled in the next video of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles, put the Instagram right here. All you gotta do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, send me a picture of your sled and what's done to it and we'll get it in the next video. So I made an Instagram story, asked you guys to send me a bunch of sleds to rate for the video and you guys did just that. You guys blew up my DM. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get through all your guys' sleds in today's video. So if you guys don't see your sled in this video, it should make it in the next one. One quick thing before we get into today's video is I will be at Heydays 2021. Like I mentioned before, I'm bringing limited edition merch to bring to you guys. I'll have shirts and stickers. So if you guys are going to Heydays, leave in the comments below Heydays 2021 so I can get an idea of how many you guys are going. With all that being said, let's get into the first sled of the day. First up, we got Paul. Paul has a 1995 Players RXL 650 EFI fresh rebuild, forged pistons, new crank, custom exhaust on the way. And that sled is really clean. Love the old school indies with that color scheme. And super cool sled. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven. Oh, I think I'm gonna give it an eight. It's paint's real clean, stickers, logos, everything's real clean, it looks like. Seven for me, eight from Brandon. Next up, we got Matthew. Matthew has for us a 2016 XRS 800 all-stop except for a MBRP trail can. And sweet look at sled. Love the murdered out look. Always wanted an XRS in like that McDonald's color scheme, I called it. Like the yellow and the red. I always thought that was a super cool sled. Either way, clean sled. I'm going to go ahead and give you an 8. Oh, uh, I'm going to do 8 probably too. I like the gas, gas uh, rack. So 8 from me, 8 from Brandon. up we got hunter and hunter has for us a 2017 skidoo free ride with a ggb mountain can backwoods bmp rear bumper fox float shocks are getting put on it and oh my god dude i love your slide i've mentioned this so many times if i was to ever switch to skidoo for any reason it would be the only slide i'd get is a free ride and probably this exact color scheme i love the blue and the lime you guys know me the lime is my thing i like the sky blue look too amazing sled bro i'm gonna go ahead and give you a nine Oh, I'll probably give you eight and a half. I love this game, just like Zach said. <clears throat> um, I run the same mountain can, GGB. Love it. Sounds amazing. So nine for me, eight and a half from him. All right, so we got Instagram name is Jalks155. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. He's got a bunch of sleds. So first up, he's got a 2015 Pro Arm K600, 155 with low miles. All stock besides low elevation clutch and springs. Clean sled. Looks pretty stock. I'm going to go and give it a seven. I'll do a seven as well. Real clean. Seven on that one. Then we're going to move down to his, what do we got here? 2019 Pro RMK has a mountain can full RSI bar setup and BMP front bumper. And also he has a 1978 Yamaha Enticer. I completely redid. It's going to be a fun low snow sled to rip. So the Enticer is freaking awesome, dude. I love the light bar. Just like the old school sled look. Me and him had a Jag at one point we used just like beat on. Enticer is going to get a nine just because it's unique. Yeah, nine. Love the enticer. And then the 2019 Pro you got here, murdered out. I like the bar setup. That looks really awesome. I'm going to go and give that a 9 as well. I'll give it an 8. I like the bumpers, the black bumpers, just murdered out. All right, so we got our boy Tommy here. Tommy has a 2021 Players Indy 850 137 Storm Track with a 1.5 lug. He says, love the content. Keep it up. Thank you, bro, for watching. And it looks like you're ripping through that parking lot there. On some nice snow. Yeah, you got some nice snow there. Where was this taken? It looks like a really deep day. Uh, sweet sled. Like the red. Looks pretty stock. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8. Yeah, I do it an 8, too. All right, my boy Nathan here has a 2014 RK Assault 800. And that looks pretty much like Brandon's Assault. is the same year as his, but he has the 600. In white. Yeah, he's got it in white. And yeah, this sled's super clean. Um, you'll see they don't make, make the RMK Assault anymore, I don't think. But that was a super cool sled. It was a good crossover between the RMK and the Switchback Assault. From this picture, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7. I'll do a 7 as well. Like the color scheme. Like the sled. Love the sled. <laughs> it's pretty much the same one. <laughs> Austin has for us the 2019 Players SKS 155, 850 Founders Edition. So that is the edition with the black and gold, which is a really sweet looking sled. Jaws Rowdy Cam and front LED light bar, otherwise stock. Now, I actually really like that LED light bar in the front, and I run a Jaws Rowdy myself, and the can is amazing. I like it more than my GGBs. And this color scheme is super unique. I really like it. I'm going to give it a 9. I think I'm going to give it a 9 as well. I love the color scheme. I would heavily consider one of that color scheme for snow check sled of mine or next up we got mikey mikey has a bunch of sleds for us first off he's a 2022 hardcore alpha one 146 stock at the moment but he's ordering an mbrp race can um awesome sled dude i'm not an articat guy whatsoever i'm gonna admit that 
but the sled looks sweet and it looks like it's a blast to ride. Just off based off looks of the sled, it's gonna get an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight as well. Never really ridden Articat, want to. Always heard good things about the Alphas though. Next up, we got his sister's sled. It's a 2016 Pro RK163. Got a GGB mountain can and a wrap and some bags. Looks pretty nice. Sled looks awesome, dude. Um, real yeah, real clean. I love the climb wrap. Uh, your sister is going to get a nine on that sled. I'll do an eight. It's real clean. And then this is her sister's boyfriend's sled. 2020 Chaos 155 with an aftermarket bumper and MBRP race can. And yeah, dude. I've said this, every time a chaos comes up on these episodes, I say how much I want one, and I'm so excited to get mine this fall, I can't wait. Ooh. Chaos is getting a 9. Yeah, I'll do a 9 too. Love the red and blue. Red and blue, boy. Is that, is that blue? <laughs> it's black. <laughs> red and black. Cut that out. Alright, so my boy Trevor got two sleds. What's up with the two sleds? Everyone's got a bunch of sleds. So he has 09 Dragon 600 with rocks handguards and a 95 XCR 600 fully restored with new top end gaskets, etc. Campex skis and a rear sport tech headlight cover. They only made so many of them. They don't make them anymore. So going off the Dragon, my mom had that sled not too long ago. Amazing sled. His dad has that in an 800. Also a good sled. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8. I really like the white scheme you got going. I'm going to do an 8 as well. Love the white and red. And then we're going to go to the XCR. First of all, I see the Trump sign in back. Love <laughs> to see it. Trump 2024, baby. So just for the Trump sign and for the Indy, you're going to get an 8. Yeah, 8 as well. It's real clean. Love the Trump sign as well. Yeah, ni nice touch with the Trump sign. All right, so this is going to be our last submission for the day. We're kind of running out of time here. But Mason, you are going to be our last submission. Mason has a 2001 Pro X 440 chassis with a 1998 700 in it and a 136 track. So that's his first sled. And I like the paint scheme. I mean, it looks like you did some custom airbrush work. Airbrush is always cool. Um, like the hood. I don't know. Your headlight's a little faded. So I'll maybe try to replace the headlight. But I can see some progress in the build. And I can see where you're going with it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7. I'll give it a 7 as well. I had pretty close of a sled. I had an XC. 440. 440. And then his other sled here is a 2001 XC600. All stock. Rebuilding everything. We'll probably be selling it. Now, one of our friends had one of these back in the day when they were new, and I always liked this color scheme of the sled. I'm actually pretty sure I have a toy of this exact sled, like a die cast Thank model. You. Yeah, and this is always one of my favorite sleds. Love the look. It's going to get an 8. 8 as well. It's clean. Blue's clean. Looks like you wax it or... Take care of the paint for sure. It, it for looks sure. extremely clean. So unfortunately, that is going to be it for today's episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. Like I mentioned, if your sled did not make it in today's video, I apologize. It will be in the next episode in the coming week. If you guys want your sleds rated, you guys already know what to do. Go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Send me a DM with a picture of your sled and what's done to it, and we'll eventually get it in the video. If you guys like today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite sled of the day was, and if you're going to be at Hey Days 2021. And like I always say, if you're new here, or you've been watching for a while, and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions. That's something I do.